Chief Architect has many tools for creating 3D objects. In this video, we'll discuss how to edit a polyline solid into a complex shape to create a simple fireplace and chimney. Let's start with a basic explanation of polyline solids, primitives, and shapes. A polyline solid is a closed polyline that is then extruded into the third dimension. Go to Build, Primitive, and select Polyline Solid. Click and drag diagonally to create a rectangular shape. This shape can then be modified using the CAD editing tools like Add Break and Change Line to Arc, as well as others. Click Open Object to open the Polyline Solid Specification dialog. Notice that there is an option for thickness, but not for height, width, or depth. If the thickness value is increased, Notice that the shape is extruded down. If the polyline solid was drawn in an elevation view, it would be extruding away from the camera in which it was drawn. Primitives are basic geometric shapes. Box, sphere, cylinder, cone, and pyramid are available through the Build Primitive menu. Similar to the polyline solid, these items are drawn by clicking and dragging. Unlike polyline solids, these are not extruded polylines, but instead are shapes in their own right. If a polyline solid is edited in an axis other than that in which it was drawn, it will change from a polyline solid that is a CAD shape extruded in a third dimension to a shape that can be modified in any axis. To demonstrate this, let's switch plans and add a fireplace and chimney to an actual project. From the menu, select Build, Primitive, Polyline Solid. Click and drag diagonally to create a rectangle. For this example, we'll start with a 24 by 48 inch rectangle. The ridge height in this plan is about 20 feet high and clearance needs to be taken into account when setting the height of the chimney. Select the polyline solid and then click Open Object to open the specification dialog. The first step in this dialog is to understand the elevation reference. This setting determines where the bottom of the polyline solid will sit. Many items reference absolute zero and roof planes are one of those items. So the ridge height mentioned earlier is from absolute zero. The polyline solid specification right now is referencing the finished floor. Since the chimney height needs to be in relation to the ridge in this plan, the elevation reference should be from the same zero point as the roof. Change the elevation reference to absolute. Next, to adjust is the thickness. Since this polyline solid was drawn in plan view, the thickness is actually the height. To make sure that there's enough clearance from the ridge, we'll set this to 22 feet. Notice the elevation at bottom changed. Set this back to zero. Move the polyline solid into position up against the wall by selecting the polyline solid and using the move handle in the middle. When pushed against the wall, the polyline solid will bump and stop against the wall. The Center Object tool can be used to center the chimney on the room. From the menu, select 3D, Create Orthographic View, Cross Section Elevation. Click to the side of the chimney and drag towards the chimney to create a side elevation view. Zoom in close so edits can be made. Select the polyline solid and grab the bottom edge. Drag it down as necessary for the foundation. On the Edit toolbar at the bottom of the screen, choose the Add Break tool. Add a break on the wall facing the side of the polyline solid at the desired elevation for the top of the fireplace. This will result in an additional segment on this edge. Segments are indicated by a square edit handle. Grab the lower segment and pull it into the structure the distance necessary for the desired fireplace in the room. Use the break tool again to create a hearth if desired. 
However, if a different material is desired for the hearth, a second piece will be necessary as only one material can be added to any individual polyline solid, primitive, or shape. Go back to plan view and create an elevation from the outside looking at the exterior of the chimney. To give the chimney sloping sides, use the add break tool again, add a break on one side. This will result in creating two segments on that side. Grab the upper segment and move it in. Do the same on the opposite side. This creates a flat ledge on each side. Grab the inner corner and drag it upwards to slope the ledge. Solid subtraction can be used to create the firebox. Back in your plan view, go to Build, Primitive, Box, and then click and drag diagonally to draw a primitive box in front of the fireplace, the size desired for the firebox. Select the box and open object to open the specification. Set the height to the value desired for the firebox and click OK. Go back into the side elevation and locate the new box. Select it and move it into place on top of the hearth. Stretch the box into the fireplace. If desired, break the top edge and slope the back. Ensure that the box sticks out the front of the fireplace. This box will be subtracted from the fireplace in the next steps. Go back to Plan View and from the menu select 3D, Create Perspective View, Full Camera. Click in the room and drag the focal point towards the fireplace. Release the mouse to complete the action. When cameras are first created, mouse orbit mode is enabled. Press the spacebar to enable the Select Objects tool instead. Select the fireplace, then on the Edit toolbar, select the Solid Subtraction tool, then click on the box we placed for the firebox. The box will disappear and the fireplace will have a hole cut into it. Notice the wall is still in place within the firebox. From the menu, select Build, Window, Pass-Through, and click on the wall above the fireplace to place the pass-through. Select the pass-through and click Open Object to open the window specification. Specify the height and width to the dimensions of the fireplace on the general panel. Set the floor to bottom value to zero and click OK. Use the edit handles to snug the pass-through around the fireplace as needed. Use Open Object again to reopen the specification. On the Casing panel, turn off Use Interior Casing and Use Exterior Casing. On the Sill panel, turn off Use Interior Sill as well as Use Exterior Sill if necessary. On the Frame panel, turn off Has Frame and click OK. There are several mantles in the library to choose from. If you do not see the library browser, you can enable it by going to View, Library Browser from the menu. Use the search box at the top of the library browser to quickly find a selection of mantles. You can select the mantle or the fireplace and open their specification dialog to specify materials, or you can use the material painter. In this plan, the brick from the exterior is desired for the fireplace. The material eyedropper can be used to pick up the brick material from the exterior and applied to the chimney. Remember that since the fireplace and chimney are one piece, only one material can be applied. If different materials are needed, it will be necessary to create the interior fireplace as a different piece from the exterior chimney. There are also chimney caps in the library.
When placed, they will not automatically locate the top of the chimney. Select and use Open Object to get to the Specification dialog. Remember to change the Elevation Reference to Absolute so that it matches the Elevation Reference of the chimney. Specify the Floor to Bottom to be the top height of the chimney specified earlier.